Uh, a month ago, things did not look very good. Arizona uh, football lost its coach. You had everybody mocking Arizona about the budget shortfall. You had uh, people saying, well, is Tommy Lloyd, are they going to be able to afford an extension? All the donors are out. Fast forward a month, and you've obviously got Brent Brennan in. Tommy Lloyd has signed an extension. You got a new AD in here that took less money to come from Missouri. Arizona, Arizona kind of landed on its feet right here. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, the, obviously, the the death of Arizona athletics uh, was a little premature, right? Like, it, right. it's and shout out to the donors, man. Like the donors, it sounded like are paying Desiree's full contract or the buyout at least, and all that. Yeah, they clearly paid Tommy Lloyd's contract. Uh, they're still donating. Robbins has that. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? The oh, big the, capital um, campaign they're doing. Yeah, right. Uh, but you know, wonder the wonder campaign, two point two billion dollars, right? So it's like, uh, yeah, the Arizona donors have have stepped up in a very big way. Money is not an uh, money is not a problem. Uh, it appears when it comes to this. Also, I th thought I thought uh, I saw I saw something that I thought was interesting. Every now and then, I'll get a little bit of a nugget. I knew exactly, and Sheer can vouch for this, I knew exactly what the contract proposal for Jed Fish was. To a T, literally down to the 100,000 mark, I knew exactly what it was. Guess what? Tommy Lloyd's contract is literally identical to it. Don't think I didn't notice that, Jason Shear, when they announced those terms. Yeah, that was funny. You pointed that out to me right away. Uh, it, it, it really, the whole way it played out was, was funny uh, as well. And the stuff that Jed said couldn't get done in the ways that it got done was exactly the way that this played out. So yeah, I don't know. It was down I, I get we're, it's all talking about Jed, but man, it's just like everything that dude said was such a lie. It's like, let's just move on from him. It, it was down just, to from the five. Uh, like I said, from the, uh, from the, uh, the boost to a, a little bit over six. It was just interesting. Like I said, um, I thought that was uh, very fascinating because that was what Tommy Lloyd signed was exactly what was basically offered. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about uh, Tommy Lloyd. Uh, this is this is obviously big. We talked about this yesterday, but Tommy Lloyd being back, Tommy Lloyd being locked in for the uh, uh, for the foreseeable future is huge, and he's being paid as such. He's not being paid two and a half million dollars. He's being paid like one of the top six to seven coaches in the country, which is exactly what he is. Yeah, I mean, look if you you want to play with the big boys in the Big Twelve, you better start paying coaches, right? right. And, and, you know, football is going to be low. I think that eventually changes if Brandon wins, which I think he will. Uh, basketball, Arizona basketball, if you want it to be the brand that everyone thinks it is and all that, you got to pay Tommy Lloyd. He is literally one of the most successful coaches ever this early in his career. Pay him. Pay the guy. That's what they did. He wants to be here. He's comfortable in Tucson, and they got it done. And uh, and we got to give them a lot of respect, or a lot of uh, respect too. One thing I think about great coaches is that they figure out what exactly they need to do to get better, what they need to do to be able to. Um, how do I put this? Uh, you know, they take inventory of what some of their failures were. Last year's team did not have the uh, anybody that could really make a play off the bounce to end a game. Guess who you'd bring in? Caleb Love. Last year's team also didn't have a ton of really good perimeter defenders. Guess what you do? You bring in Jane Bradley. Also, didn't have a lot of toughness. Guess what you do? You bring in Keyshaw Johnson. I'm a big fan of coaches that are able to take inventory. He took inventory, Jason Shear. Yeah, it, it was very clear that when you talked to him at the end of last season, he knew exactly what he wanted to do with the roster. Like, he right. knew that Kirk Creesa, that was going to, separate he knew he wanted a guy that could create his own shot when the going got tough he knew that he wanted toughness and you know athleticism and and like like he loved zoo but at the same time you didn't need to replace zoo scoring you have key shot with the athleticism and defense and all that he knew exactly what he wanted to do with the roster uh and he got it done and even though nemhard and we all freaked out over nemhard arizona this arizona that obviously he landed very well and they're they're better in the situation they are now, then had they landed Nemard, and that shows his ability to kind of pivot as well.